Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Restricted Republic. Hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving. This is a very unfortunate report to have to bring you. The U.S. government has confirmed that this is now across the border. It did not come in via airport. No, it crossed the U.S. border. Reports coming in that it is located in Texas. However, the consequences of this are, well, something out of a movie, something no one should have to contend with, something that will not only impact us, but also man's best friend. I know, unfortunate report, probably not making a lot of sense to you right now, and I wish it was not reality, but it is reality. I will read the CDC reports on exactly what we're discussing. Now, before we get started, a little bit of housekeeping. If you haven't subscribed to Lisa's channel, I certainly hope you will. If you haven't subscribed to mine, she'll put a link above. As you know, we'll do a little flip-flopping back and forth. Love to have you subscribe to both. If you haven't been to Restricted Republic, only a few of the very special discount code remaining right now, holiday 2023, $2.99 a month for one year plus 14 days for free. Get there today. That deal is not going to last too much longer. And after today's report, I'm certain you'll now understand why Lisa and I try to enjoy life as much as possible. I hope you'll understand that now. And if you haven't enjoyed life with us, if you haven't been over, over to we'reforkedup.com yet, I'll put our newest video going to publish today. I want you to join there. I want you to subscribe 100% free. We hope you'll enjoy it. We want to put a smile on your face because unfortunately in this day to day that we deal with, there's not always the opportunity to bring you good news. So now let's get on with this broadcast. So what has the CDC now reported? A flesh-eating parasite, no joke, spread by sand flies, has a foothold in the United States. A report, again, I did not expect to read this morning, but one we found nonetheless. Called an endemic right now, prevalent in or limited to a particular locality, region, or people. Diseases endemic to the tropics, or in this case, diseases currently endemic to Texas. Leishmaniasis is what we're going to be talking about, something that was reserved for other places and usually only came in from travelers at the worst, but now it's something different. It's coming across the border. There are three main forms of leishmaniasis. The first, visceral, the most serious form, because it is almost always fatal without treatment. Visceral, the most serious form, because it's almost always fatal without treatment. Cutaneous, the most common, usually causing the skin ulcers I just showed you on that prior picture. And mucutaneous, affecting mouth, nose, and throat. Now here's why it doesn't make sense. This is in the US. This was reserved for, and as you read, the disease affects some of the world's poorest people, associated with malnutrition, population displacement, poor housing, and a weakened immune system and a lack of financial resources, a weak immune system. Hmm. An estimated 700,000 to 1 million new cases occur annually. Thankfully, only a small fraction of those infected by parasites causing leishmaniasis will eventually develop the disease. So there's some good news. The CDC reporting now, professionals reporting that it's here. This is on the CDC website. In general, it states, cutaneous leishmaniasis causes skin lesions, which can persist for months or in some cases, years. The skin lesions usually develop within several weeks or months after the exposure, but occasionally first appear years later. Obviously something we don't want here. This genetic information adds credence to the idea that leishmaniasis is occurring here in the United States. It's endemic here in the United States, at least in Texas, and maybe southern border states. Dr. Mary Cam of the CDC's Division of Parasitic Diseases and Malaria said in an interview with CBS News. Once thought to be a danger largely reserved for travelers, a flesh-eating parasite known as Leishmania mexicana is now likely spreading locally through some sand flies native to the southern U.S. It's coming across the border. You see why so many continue to express concern about leaving the border in the current status it's in. Now this disease and its testing gets a little strange, a very distinct genetic fingerprint. Those are then often shipped off to the CDC, which until 2020 ran the only lab outside the military that could test for these parasites. 
I could simplify this chart for you. A sand fly lands on you, it bites you, and the cycle begins. And in the very unfortunate circumstance, sometimes it can spread leash mania to you, but there is a way that can even become more powerful. This is something that gets a little bit more unusual as you dig into more details of this sandfly. Controlling sandflies can pose steep challenges compared to other large insects. Sandflies are a fourth of the size of mosquitoes and do not need standing water to breed. So they're tough to control. Affecting 700,000 to 1 million new cases occurring annually. And you can see here where in South America it's located. Well, that was then. And this is now. Just a few of the lesions caused by leash mania. For U.S. doctors, leash maniasis is not a reportable disease in most states. Limiting the CDC's ability to track whether cases are now accelerating. So we'll leave our border wide open, but we won't have the correct functions in place or features in place to track these very dangerous diseases. However, Kama said the agency has been fielding a growing volume of requests to help with diagnosing leishmaniasis cases. It's a trend. It's not a huge jump, but there's a trend of increasing requests. And now how does it get more powerful? Through man's best friend. Dogs could bring a more deadly parasite. The discovery comes as new recommendations are now being drawn up to hold help officials address that a different and deadlier cousin, Leishmania infantum, could also gain a U.S. foothold. Is anyone concerned about this? Is anybody going to take any measures to prevent this? Why the border discussion is so critically important. And unfortunately, as I said before, this can affect humans, can affect dogs, and other mammals. We identified one of its causative agents, Leishmania infantum, that we just talked about in a dog born in California. Demonstrating potential for infections in this country, our findings bolstered a need for improved screening practices in the United States. Do you think so? If not treated in a timely manner, visceral leishmaniasis, it can result in death in more than 90% of cases. In the last five years, an average is some 2.85 cases of visceral leishmaniasis were recorded with an average case fatality rate of 8.2%. This is nothing to be playing with. I hope you heard this. We felt it our responsibility to have to bring it to you. So at least you know some of the warning signs of the more severe strain. Some people have a silent infection without any symptoms or signs. People who develop clinical evidence of infection usually have a fever, weight loss, enlargement, swelling of the spleen and liver, and abnormal blood tests, including a low red blood cell count, anemia, a low white blood cell count, and a low platelet count. Man, didn't think we'd be bringing this the day after Thanksgiving. But nonetheless, here we are. And this was, this is on the NIH which states that this is starting to take a stronger foothold because a lot of people didn't seek treatment during the COVID-19 pandemic. Also, due to the climate. Climate change and insecticide resistance provide challenges in sandfly control. Always heads back to the same reasoning, doesn't it? Unfortunate news, but news you have to be aware of because we know the mainstream media simply won't cover it for you. Not in the way it needs to be covered. Those are the facts. Don't panic. Of course not. Read the information. We put our links either at lisahaven.news or we put it at justiceanight.com. And we always put it up at restrictedrepublic.com's website where you can follow every link, everything we report on. So you can research further and decide if you agree or disagree. We look forward to seeing you in the comments. We love you all. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless. Justice Knight, signing out.